for that. Now, I want you to go and apologize to her. And I'll have her bring you a plate of cookies. Perhaps that would improve your disposition. Cookies and coffee, right? They cure everything. But I don't want a cookie. I must study my art. Out into the night with me. Away. Oh, it's my train. Don't forget your galoshes. If I'm not going to freeze, madame. Twaddle. Well, that wasn't very polite. I hope you catch a fall. And then you'll be after having to take the color of the oil off.
Chomped, I'm sure. Oh, 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 oh dear, For, do forgive me. My name's Martha, Martha Willis. And you are? The pleasure's mine, Miss Willis. <laughs> Can I have my hand back now? Oh, sorry. My friends call me Dirk. Dirk Shadow. <laughs> I'd love to be your friend. Hey, don't forget to tell them about your terminal head cold. <clears throat> cold? What cold? Or is it rabies, diverticulitis, E. coli, Ebola, cirrhosis of the liver? I've never known what you're dying of moment by moment, day to day. Never know. <sighs> you yes. I don't believe I've met this young lady. Oh, well, Mr. Dirk, let me introduce a dear, dear friend of mine. This is Gladys Klutz. Oh, <laughs> the name is Klotz, <laughs> Mr. Shadow. It's Klotz, as in blood clots. And a wonderful name, to be sure. Its beauty matches your own. Oh, yes. Yes, it does. Mr. Shadow, <laughs> what is... You'll have to forgive what I said earlier about my cousin's nose falling off. I was startled. I usually don't say things like that to strangers. Oh, I understand. Is there anything I can, Is there anything I can do for you? I require rooms for myself and my sister. We'll be staying in the area for a few days while I check on uh, business opportunities. Oh, there's plenty of nice hotels nearby. Well, I prefer to stay here if I may. Hotels can be so normal, precise, and nobody ever accuses this place of being normal. <laughs> I prefer a more secluded setting. And my sister, who's a very nervous person, prefers the quiet of a country setting. You understand? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs>
And I'm about the only normal person here, except for my fatal diseases, of course. Do you have any diseases? No. Oh. Uh, other than a slight cold I seem to have picked up. Oh, wonderful. Well, maybe it'll turn into pneumonia and you'll die. We can compare symptoms after dinner. Yeah. I feel the power coming over me. There's a strange spirit. Very strange. It's the spirit of Captain Schnock. Did you say Captain Schnock? His spirit is here with me now. What do you know about Captain Schnook? He's here even as we speak. So wait. Wait. He's feeding. He's feeding. He's feeding. Well, call him back. I want to talk to him. He's feeding. Feeding. Call him back. Where have you been? Did you play with me out there all night? While I'm out there in the rain, you're in here seducing some? Quiet. This loony says she's in touch with Captain Schnook. He's the one who hid that treasure I'm after. Maybe she's on to something. Hook, Schnook, who cares? I'm cold and wet and hungry and... Ooh. Captain <laughs> Schnook! Captain Schnook! Are you there? I'm here. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Don't you see? If she really is in touch with that old pirate spirit, maybe she can tell us where he hid the gold. Right. <laughs> Captain Schnook, you had a treasure. I had a treasure. You hid your treasure. I hid my treasure. Really? Why didn't you take it with you? What? I'm trying to find out something important. Will you quit that? <laughs> Life to be carrying your baggage for you. 
That brother of mine is a... I noticed. I think men like him are much nicer when they're stuffed. You play the feed him? Oh, no, I'm not a cook. I'm a taxidermist. What a delightful idea. Mr. Richards, there's a window up in room number eight that needs to be unstuck, and, and do you expect me to do manual labor? Madame Anne McCreary Box, the novelist. Oh, this never written a word. I'm awaiting inspiration. Oh, Mr. Richards, what you are is a lazy layabout. As for you being an artist, I fail. Piffle. Madame, you cannot piffle an artist. Well, I just did. <laughs> bravo, bravo. That does it. I'm tired of the world ignoring my genius. I will no longer be the world's greatest writer. I'll be instead the world's greatest poet. I have it, my first masterpiece. I have composed a romantic ballad. A frog was on the highway, heedless of where he sat. A truck came by. The frog said, hi. The big truck squashed him flat. Oh, 
were you going somewhere? Yes, Dak and I were just going to my rooms for a private seance, weren't we, Dak? Indeed we were, if you'll excuse us. Look, well, be careful you don't end up in her closet. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Cook said dinner's ready. Oh, well, if we miss her hurry along, then you know how testy she can become when we aren't proper. Come along, everyone. Well, except you, Mr. Richards. You can eat after you fix that window up in number eight. Aren't you going to eat, Mr. Richards? Ugh, I'm not hungry. At least, not hungry enough to actually work for my food. I refuse to serve as a peasant. I understand. Mr. Richards, what would you say if I offered you a proposition? Ugh, does it involve work? No, it involves money. Money? Yes, but it does require a little private investigation. Hmm. That sounds suspiciously like crime, snooping, sneaking, and highly unethical behavior. I'll do it. Excellent. And you report only to me, understood? Of course. Now your excuse for going everywhere and snooping into everything will be, you're a handyman. I am. You are. You'll fix anything that needs fixing. You'll look into every nook and cranny of this place. And when you find something, you report to me immediately. Got it? Got it. What a great way to research my next poem. I shall call it the hen. <laughs> How original. Come on, let's get started. Come on, let's get started. First thing you can do is carry up First thing you can do is carry up our bags. Wait, what am I looking for? Mr. Richards, a hundred years ago, right about this time this house was built, there was a notorious pirate who landed along this very beach. He was reported to have buried his treasure here, killed all his men, and sailed off, never to be seen again. Since then, there's been a dark shadow hanging over this area. My brother's convinced he has the original map to the buried treasure. Of course, my brother has a lot of strange ideas. I want you... He is convinced he's here. What? He is convinced he's here. He is convinced it is here, in this place. I want you to spy on my brother, tell me everything he does. And if you tell anyone, anyone at all, what you're doing, I'll have my brother destroy you in the most horrible ways you can imagine. Since you are a writer. <laughs> Since you are a writer, he will first break all your pencils. Oh, no! And then he will give you to me. What will you do? Why, Mr. Richards, I'll have you for dinner. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've eaten a good rump roast. Or perhaps some spare ribs. Come, we have work to do. But I'm no artist! I'm not somehow baked! Not baked, dear Richard. Broiled. Crazy woman wants me to spy on the crazy brother. Oh no, what have I gotten myself into? Hello! No! <laughs> Jumpy, are we? I didn't do it! I won't do it! I'm innocent! I told you, innocent! Hmm. Take two aspirin and call me in the morning. Wait! Don't leave me! Excuse me, young man. Do I know you? It's me, Doctor. Mr. Richards. The writer. Remember? You treated me last with the... something? Ah, oh, yes. Lung fungus. Did you survive? Yes. And what did I prescribe? Two aspirin. I was right. Excellent advice. Now, if you'll excuse me. But, Doctor, you can't leave me now. Doctor, there's a crazy person in this house. Day. I'm gonna be eating for dinner. I'm gonna be rump roll sparrows, probably even rack of man. <laughs> With mint jelly? I love mint jelly. Doctor, you've got to believe me. Oh, I do, I do. Why don't you sit right down and tell me all about it? I thought I heard someone in here, Dr. Snipel. Mr. Richards, have you taken care of that job I asked you to do for me? Just leave it. Years. I don't know why I 
don't know why I keep making house calls. Are you the one who called me? Uh, no, that would be Martha. Uh, she's got leprosy or something like it, and she would like your advice. Leprosy? Mm. That's a very complex disease. It's very difficult to treat. Has her nose fallen off yet? Uh, well, not so I've noticed, but, but then again, I've been quite busy. Mm. Well, then have her take two aspirin and call me in the morning. Busy, busy, busy. Have to get back to the office. <laughs> but, but you're retired. You know that, and I know that. Tell the crazies who keep calling me. Uh, doctor, could I talk to you for a minute? I have a new guest who concerns me. For some reason, Mr. Dark Shadow is overly curious about that story that they're always telling about my boss. You remember the one about Captain Schnook and the Mari Treasure? Captain Schnook? Yes, I do recall my grandfather telling me about him. Tall man with the long beard, carried a long knife, cut himself shaving once. That's why my grandfather saw him. Is that Schnook back? Oh, well, no, that was over a hundred years ago, Doctor. Oh, he's probably getting on in age, developed rheumatism or some such. What's his problem now? Well, there was a rumor that he buried his treasure before he sailed away. Did your granddaddy say anything about that? Yes, I do believe he did. Well, <laughs> what did he say? Well, that's part of the problem. My memory's not what it used to be. Besides, gold never interested me anyways. Dr. Sniffle, I presume. It's Sniffle, young man. Do I know you? Oh, Doctor. This is Dark Shadow that I was telling you about. Dr. Sniffle, would you be interested in helping with a little experiment for the betterment of mankind? What type of experiment? Medical? Absolutely. Go on. You say you have memories you could no longer recall. Perhaps if we ran a little experiment, we could bring those thoughts to the surface. Improve your memory. Think of the benefit for people everywhere. Do others have the same trouble too? I guarantee it. Well, would Might you like not be a bad idea. Would you like tea and a cookie? I, I want a cookie. I need a cookie. I'm starving. Get away from me, you crazy person. experience with hypnosis, going into a trance, that sort of thing? Never, no experience, but I'm not really sure that any of that mind stuff really works. Excellent. I like an empty mind. Now, when Tweed <laughs> comes back with Miss Gladys, I slipped, so just go. Would you like tea, doctor? Doctor, if you would stand right here. 
and I must ask everyone else to be very quiet. Hello! What's everyone doing in here? I'm about, I'm about to conduct an experiment, and I need you to be very quiet. Oh, I will, I will, I will, I will. Goody, goody, I love experiments. What, Marge, how's the call for professor? Has I got Marge here? No, and I'm so disappointed. Quiet!
Madame, I have nothing to report. Then don't report it. Understood. Thank you. Don't drink the tea! <coughs> okay. Bye now. Where's my tea? Coming, coming. I'll just be a moment or two. When I find the treasure, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to become a pirate myself. Yes, dear. Only I'm not going to sail on a ship. Oh, no. I'm going to form my own band of cutthroat robbers and order everybody to send me their money. <laughs> Drink your tea, dear. You know what I'm going to call my band of thieves? The International Robber Society, the IRS. What could be more appropriate? Here, dear, here's your nice hot tea. Nobody ever listens to me. Call the robber upset about something. I'm afraid so. Sometimes he gets carried away. But the doctor says he's supposed to take his medication daily. But oh wait, here. This looks nice. No, let me fix you some fresh. Oh, no, no, this is alright. I don't mind it. It's cold. Well, I don't mind a bit of cold tea. No, 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 no. Oh, Harriet. I feel horrible. I think I'm coming down with something. Oh, well, that's nice, dear. Here, have a nice cup of tea, then. Hello, Miss Harriet. I fixed that window on room eight. Oh, I take you, Mr. Richards. Did you know I'm coming down with a toe fungus? It's all this wet weather. Congratulations, Martha. That should make you very happy. I wonder if my feet will fall off. That's a warning you know. I think I'd be getting back to work now, if, if you'll excuse me. Uh, uh, you can take a bit of time to relax, Mr. Richards. There, you drink it, eat. And you know the worst part is? I may grow webbed feet. That's nice. I think I'll write a poem just for you. I'll call it Ode to the Wet-Footed Woman. No! Do wet feet make it hard to put on your sandals? Do you have wet feet too? Could I see them sometime? No, I don't have webbed feet, Mr. Richards. Of course I don't. Do you? <laughs> and I've looked. Where's my tea? You can have some of mine. Oops, I think the tea is all gone. Hi, Carl. You can be green. <laughs> yes, girl, away from me. And you're brown. And you're a pinky. <laughs> and you're red. Oh. Hello, Mr. Burbo. Will somebody get this loony out of here? <laughs> I see you. But you can't catch me. I love painting people, but I was never very good at painting plants. Oh dear. Hi. Oh, I'm really going to have to do something about Ivy. I swear that girl gets faster every day. I'm going to have to bury her in the basement so I can get some rest. Well, we tried that once before, remember? Uh, and she took a spoon and tried to escape by digging a tunnel to China. Did she make it? At most. Well, I best go find her. I swear that girl's wearing me down to skin a bone sugar tiger. Maybe I should go help dig her tunnel. She seems like a nice lady. I digging tunnels is not on your agenda, Mr. Richards. But it sounds like fun. I'll, I'll, I'll just use a big spoon. Which way is it to China? That way. <laughs> Thank you. Bye now. What has gotten into Mr. Richards? Oh, I'm afraid that's my fault. I put some of Dirk's medication in that tea, but it will wear off soon. I think. Oh, that's too bad. He's so pleasant. I, I rather like him this way. So do I. I like happy people. After all, if you can't have fun, you might as well hang it up. What is wrong with that Ivy? She painted my face. Oh, what was it that's half with her? Blue's always been your best color. Not on my face, Harriet. If you don't do something about that crazy woman, you're gonna have to protest. <gasps> protest! Oh, a protest! Would 
you? I've never had a protest before. And are you going to sue me for millions and millions of dollars? Yeah. Yeah, I am. No, you're my friend. Oh, that's too bad. Sounds exciting. And if you had collected, I would have had to send it. A million dollars? I'll sue. Who has a million dollars? Sir, calm yourself. Don't but I, it again. I want millions and millions of dollars. Then I can go on looking for the captain's treasure. Not that again, Dirk. I've told you a dozen times there's no buried treasure. And I say there is. There is? There is. I'm as sure of it as I am. My name's Dirk Shadow. Well, Mr. Richard said he was going down to the basement to dig for something. Maybe, maybe he... <gasps> He's after my treasure! There is no treasure! <laughs> Miss Harriet, Miss Harriet! Yes? <laughs> Mr. Richards just found something in the basement. Oh, he did? What did he find? Um, an old bone. <gasps> That's the body Schnook buried with the treasure! He's stealing my gold! Out of the way! Oh, our gold! I want gold! Oh. Some people do some peculiar things. Uh-huh. Louder, she can't hear oh, you. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, Harriet. Yes? If Dr. Stifle comes, would you send her down to the basement, please? Uh, where are you going? Down to the basement to help them dig for gold. Oh, We're going to be rich. Rich? Is that what gold does to folks? Yes, gold makes some people behave very strangely, Jeannie. Would you like some of my tea, Miss Harriet? Uh, I don't want any gold to change me. I think I like me just the way I am. Well, that's a wise decision, Tweety. It's just that I have to be very careful, because the world is out to do me harm. It is? That's what my mommy used to tell me. Well, what kind of harm? Hmm. I think she forgot to tell me that. Would you like some tea? Uh, you got to go make it first, dear. It's all gone. Yes, I would like some later on. Uh, no, ma'am. It's my special slippery almond bridge bark tea. No, we had that at the beginning of the play. Golden <laughs> aside. Sorry, shit that I can't do. <laughs> do you think I'm strange, Miss Harriet? Oh, no. You're not strange at all. <laughs> You're tweeny. Thank you, ma'am. I'll do. I'll, I'll follow Hortense. She knows where Ivy went. I 
I wonder if Veronica has any more of that tea. Well, I'd like to get like a cup of tea. I'm uh, taking you don't need any more of that tea, Mr. Richards. Okay. Come on now. I'm continuing on. Don't worry. Okay. Will there be anything else, Miss Harriet? Uh, no, that'll be out, Tweeny. Maybe I should ask the others. Delicious. Yes. 
thank you. See? Has anyone seen Dirk? I'm afraid he's off again. Miss Veronica, why does your brother want to find that gold? Well, it's gold for heaven's sakes. Who doesn't want gold? Everyone, to the basement. We must continue digging. Mr. Shadow, why do you want to find that chest of gold? Why? Because it's there to be found. <laughs> well, what are you going to do with it? Well, I'm going to. Don't ask stupid questions, girl. Help me find the gold. To the basement. Miss Harriet, I just had an idea. My brother is, is obsessed with discovering that gold. It's ruining our lives. What do you suppose if I thought of something else to do? What? What you have in mind? What you have in mind? I don't know. 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 Why does everyone want to find that chest of gold when they don't know why they want it? Well, it's just like a rainbow, Ivy. All they really want to do is chase it. Nah, I guess everyone needs a rainbow, don't they? <laughs> Bye. And now we can start yeah. that over again, Gorley. Miss Harriet, I just had an idea. My brother's obsessed with discovering that gold. It's ruining our lives. What do you suppose if I thought of something else to do? What would you have in mind? Thursdays are always my worst days. Oh, I feel so sorry for you. 
I think mine may work for today. Oh. oh. I almost found it. Good for you. Found what? The treasure chest. Well, I found this. See? It's part of the chest. Maybe. Looks more like a rotten old board. <laughs> Twinny, can I get some more? Uh, rats, she's gone. Oh, here, doctor. I'll get you a tea. We all need it. Dirk, Dirk, I'm dying! <laughs> Dirk, care for your sister. It may be too late already. <laughs> Veronica, I had no idea. She's so brave. I'm sick too, you know. You are? Yes. I may not be with you much longer. I'm much <coughs> sicker than Martha. I only have one love yet, a small one. My gallbladder died this morning. <gasps> it did? Oh, I didn't know that. But you poor dear. We but must we be must brave. be brave. Doctor, are they really dying? We all are. They are? I am? No, not me. We are under a death sentence, darkest hall of living. But that isn't fair. It's absolutely fair. One death per customer. Meanwhile, take two aspirin and call me in the morning. Wait, <laughs> what about Martha and Veronica? No exceptions. But, but, those are the only two women I've ever cared about. Have you told them that? <laughs> told them? No. Why? Well, they might wait to hear it while there's still time. You mean time is running out? On them? <coughs> yeah. Do you know how to stop it? <laughs> it's not <laughs> getting any shorter. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Not me. I'm not going to die. Ever. I refuse, and you can't make me. Hear me. Did you hear? Duck frowned a bolt. He did? He did? I did? Almost. He found a board, but don't forget he also found a bolt. I did! And next, the goal! Oh, I'm so excited! <laughs> Dirk, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. I'll tell you. You know the location of the goal? No, this is something important. More important than goal? <gasps> Diamonds. Rubies? <laughs> Pearls. <laughs> no, this is something personal. Oh, rubies. <laughs> Jake? Ivory. Will you stop thinking about money? I, I, 
maybe you do you really, truly, really, honestly, from the top of your head to the bottom of your toes, love me? No. Oh. I love me. But I think I. Maybe I. Would you be my Hey everybody? I found another bone! <gasps> a bone? She oh. found a bone! A bone! Did somebody say bone? A bone? A bone? A bone? What were you gonna say? What were you gonna say, Dirk? Important things first! To the basement, everyone! Ivy found a bone! Well, wait for me! Dirk, this nonsense has got to stop! I knew we were getting closer! I am the spirit of camp and schnook. A curse on those who are. Who, who? Who stole my bones? Hey! Uh, is this going to involve work? No, Will. But wait! Alas, poor York. I knew him. Horatio. I've always wanted to do that. Farewell, my love. Parting is such sweet sorrow that I shall say good night till the morrow. You're weird. And now, away! Don't people get excited easily. Like, where'd you find the bone? Out of the backyard. I think a dog must have left it there. Well, that wasn't very nice. Mm -hmm. I know, but it was fun. Miss Harriet, do you think Mr. Richards likes me? Ooh, I think he does, Ivy. I think he likes everyone, in spite of his grumpiness. But he did. Kiss my ear. No, oh, he did indeed, Ivy. <sighs> oh, my tweeny, but don't you seem happy? Oh, I am, Miss Harriet. Mr. Richard told me lovely. <coughs> hey, Dad! Oh! I think he likes me. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear! What's the matter, Miss Ivy? Mr. Richards kissed my hand! He oh. did? I didn't know he wanted someone else, but I really did it. I know my kind of girl. Mr. Richards has been unfaithful to me. Girls, girls, what ever is the matter with you? Get up front here. Mr. Richards. Mr. Richards has two. Elma. 
Elma Sniper. And I hate that name. That's why I became a doctor. Well, I taught you became a doctor to heal the sick. Well, that too, but medicine is a very depressing business. Did you know that? It's a depressing, yes, but look at all the people you've helped. Well, it doesn't really matter. Father time always catches up with everyone. You born, you live, you die. It's very depressing. Oh, do you know of a better way? Not that I know of, but then no one uh, consulted me when they came up with the system. Do you think I might get a spot of tea? Martha should be back soon. Oh. I think tea goes well with leprosy or fallen arches. Or I wonder if those two diseases are related. Additional cures.
Aha! Doctor, you are going to solve the mystery of the bow. I am? Yes. And you are going to contact Captain Schnuck for me. We take cash, check, or credit card, master card. Disgraceful! A cash and carry ghost! Careful, Dirk, you're getting excited again. I want to get excited. You, give me some tea and a cookie. Get it yourself. See, so you're in love with me. You have to do as I say. Doesn't she? No, women are people too. <laughs> Who came up with that idea? <laughs> I'll fix your tea. She's been, been around for a long it. time. Some people yeah. are short honors. <laughs> I'll fix your tea, dear. Might like to see how I fix Dirk's tea. Well, have you contacted Schnook yet? $29.95 plus $4 shipping and handling. Sorry, no CODs. We take America Express, Discover, MasterCard, whatever you got. ATM, debit, pin number. Usually, I just give them one. But today, I don't have a credit card. I want to talk to Captain Schnook now. Today I think I'm a bottle. Now, Doc, look at that bow and tell me what kind it is. Are you sure you want to know? Of course I want to know. We all want to know. It's better not to know some things. Just do it. You're sure? Dear yes! yes! Maybe you should drink your tea first, dear. <sighs> there. Are you happy? Yes. And you? It works very quickly. Five, four, three, two. Who? So happy. So, doctor. Look at that bone. And tell me what kind it is. A leg bone? An arm bone? A funny bone. After all my years of medical experience, it is safe to say, without a doubt, that this is a soup bone. Soup bone! Soup bone! Soup bone! Soup bone! And those marks on it were made by a dog. That's wonderful. Just what I always wanted, my very own soup bone. I've got a soup bone. All this, my dreams, my plans for a soup bone? There's no little down there, is there? And it's not looking too good for you, dear. No worries, sis. Who needs gold anyway? We've got this bone. Who needs gold? Who needs gold? I need, I need, I need it. Oh, gracious, Veronica. Do you really need it? Yes, yes, I need it. I need it for the nursing care. But, Veronica, we thought you were healthy. Not for me, for Dirk. He needs 24 hour nursing care. So I get some rest around here after all these years. <laughs> all these years. Oh, you poor dear, we had no idea. Oh, you, but, oh, wait, I, I have an idea. Oh, yes, this is perfect. I'll marry Dirk. You really want to? Yes. I'll marry Dirk and I'll take care of him. It'll be perfect. Pumpkin. Darling. Oh. Well, that worked out nicely, didn't it? And just think, it was all because of a soup bone. Oh, to a soup bone. <laughs> down on the job. Oh, to a purple soup bowl. Oh, <laughs> no you don't. Not until you take out the garbage. And put your tools away. Hey, enough. I will not be a poet. I shall become a writer of political speeches, a master of the cliché, a purveyor of future political prose. I shall say nothing. 
but I shall say it magnificently. But first, you'll clean off your shoes, and you'll take out your garbage, and put two of them in, and take a shopping. Ooh, good one. Oh, yes. Oh, do be happy for me, dear Hortons. Now you are free to go off and do as you please. Hortons? Hortons license trooper? Why, Gish? Well, Hortons, I haven't seen you in a blue moon. And I dare say you are looking as about as fine as the blue moon ago. Oh, thank you, guy, and I fell. Hortons, it appears that you are suddenly an employee. And I am looking for a personal assistant, someone to make me tea and take all the phone calls for when crazy sick people call. Would, would you do me the honor? Why, doctor, if you give me some of what you've got, I'll be honored. Excellent. <laughs> give us a chance to renew all the acquaintance. <laughs> well, this is just fine and dandy. Everybody gets what they want except for me. But we still have one another, dear. Now, well, as my dead husband used to say, he who has what he wants is wealthy. So I'm just gonna have to like what I have. Ah, oh, that's I'm the spirit, that. dear. Whew. Oh, what an evening. So, well, all's well that ends well. Oh, where was I? <sighs> Here we go. It was a dark and stormy night.